Good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Simran Hunlani from Shankara Eye Hospital, Bangalore, and I'll be discussing about management of a case of failed DCR. So let's start from the basics and first understand what is a DCR surgery. So a DCR surgery aims at creating a patent fistula between the lacrimal sac and the nasal cavity by removing the intervening bone. Thus, it creates an alternative pathway for drainage of tears directly into the nose. So there are two types of DCR. One, there is external DCR, which is considered to be the gold standard. And there is endoscopic DCR, which is the most recent and popular one. So the success of DCR surgery can either be defined as functional success, where the patient has symptomatic relief, or it can be anatomical success, where there is patency found on lacrimal irrigation. However, if the patient still has persistence of symptoms, even after surgical intervention, then we'll call it a failed DCR. The failure can occur at any point of time following surgery. However, if it occurs as early as one week after the surgery, it's called an early failure. And if the symptoms occur after one year of surgery, then it's called a late failure. So if you do have a failed DCR, would you directly jump ahead and do a revision surgery? Well, the answer to this is no. We will take the stepping stones to success. So first of all, we will take proper steps to prevent such a failure in future. Thereafter, we will reevaluate the given case and find out the cause of failure. And only then we will go ahead with a revision surgery. Thus, a thorough re-examination is a must. So first of all, rule out other causes of tearing like blepharitis, entropion, ectropion. Do a proper pre-operative workup by doing a dye disappearance test, lacrimal irrigation probing, and other tests. And if on these tests you find out that the ostium is patent, but the patient is still having symptoms, then it indicates that it's a functional block. However, if a blockage is discovered, then it is important to find out the cause of the failure. So the cause can either be in the form of growth of fibrous tissue anywhere along the drainage system or an inappropriate ostium in terms of its size or location, or there can be associated common canalicular block or a nasal polyp or a sump or dump syndrome. So sump syndrome is basically where some amount of sac is left behind even after the surgery. Therefore, the tears are getting accumulated, which is resulting in delayed transit. Or it can also be due to some systemic diseases like vaginose or sarcoidosis. So once we have found out the cause, then we can go ahead with a revision DCR surgery. The steps that were taken in the DCR surgery done at our hospital were, first, a skin incision was made exactly at the site of the old scar, followed by proper retraction, and then blunt and sharp dissection of the muscle and fibrous tissue was done. Thereafter, the fibrous tissue at the osteotomy site was properly incised, Followed by using a bone punch, the opening was enlarged until a properly sized ostium was obtained. Then, a Bowman's probe was used as a guide to localize the common canaliculus and the fibrous tissue between the ostium and the canaliculus was excised. Then, the virgin nasal glucosa that was present after the ostium was sutured anteriorly to the common canalicular opening, finally followed by closure. Along with this, a few adjunctive measures can also be taken up, such as using a silicone stent and placing it inside, or using mitomycin C, which is an antifibrotic agent, or a balloon dacryoplasty, which is a less traumatic and newer technique can be used, or canalicular trephination may be done if a common canalicular block is present. Thus, to conclude, uh, the steps to a successful DCR surgery would include, first of all, proper understanding of the anat anatomy, complete excision of the cicatrix within the ostium, efficient bone removal, and excision of sac remnants that can cause obstruction, as in sump syndrome. Thank you. Dr. Simran, you can unshare the screen. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. yeah. So, Akshay, we need you. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah it's... we have two, two of them there. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I, I probably have seen uh, more talks on cataracts and IOL than I've seen cataract surgeries in the past 10 years. Uh, so it's a good change. Uh, it's, it's a very nice presentation. I just had a couple of questions. Uh, you spoke about mitomycin C in a revision DCR. Uh, what would be your preferred concentration and duration? So uh, 2 mg per ml is used and we can uh, keep it inside for three minutes and then wash it. Uh, so how would how do you uh, how would you deliver it there in, in you know inject? So we can either inject it or even topically apply it at the site. 
Okay. So, um, the concentration is actually not 2 mg per ml. It, 2 mg per ml may be too much. It is 0 0.2 mg per ml that is preferred. And oh, like you said, you can keep it there. Uh, also, so, can you explain that some syndrome again? I quite didn't get it. Because Sir, so uh, if, yeah, the osteum, if the osteum is placed a little superiorly, then some amount of sac is still left behind, which is inferior to it. So uh, whenever there is passage of the tears, the tears will get accumulated in the sac that is left behind in the inferior portion. Uh, therefore, there will be, so the so if this is the sac, so till here if the tears are getting filled up, then there will be uh, regurgitation of fluid. And also at the same time, there will be some transit, but it will be delayed. So I think the key here is to mention that if a ostium is made too superiorly, and I think now you've clarified it very well, but in your presentation, you forgot to mention that a too superior. superior and too small an ostium can lead to a sum syndrome. Uh, the, the other thing is, uh, so when you mentioned about balloon dacryoplasty, would you advise that as an adjunct during a repeat DCR or is that a, a, a separate procedure? So it's a separate procedure. So it's usually done for congenital uh, and LDO obstructions because it's less traumatic and takes it's hardly invasive. So it's an office-based therapy. Uh, okay, uh, so balloon dacryoplasty is not really an office-based therapy. In fact, it can be very painful. So it's done only under GA. So uh, uh, the other and last thing is, uh, so broadly you had mentioned there are two types of DCR. Is there anything, it's external and, uh, so you mentioned external and endonasal or endoscopic? Endoscopic. Okay. That is. So that, that's the clue that I gave you. Is there anything else? Apart from endoscopic and endo uh, and external? So not that I'm aware of. As far as I know, the endoscope is passed through the nasal opening. So that would be endonasal. Exactly. So is there an endonasal non-endoscopic DCR? So I'm not sure. There is a there's a very popular type of surgery which is being done by a lot of surgeons where without the endoscope. Just through the nose, they use instruments and create an ostium on the lateral wall of the nose uh, joining the lacrimal sac. So, because a lot of ophthalmologists are not quite adept using the ENT equipment of the endoscopes, so they can they end up doing a endonasal mm -hmm. non endoscopic DCR, which is also quite good in terms of success rate. Only thing you need to have very good access for that. Uh, mm -hmm. Overall, I thought it was a very well presented, uh, well made presentation with a good. So well done. Thank you, sir. So, so Simran, I have nothing to add because I'm seeing uh, DCR after my post graduation, 15 years, you know. So it was quite knowledgeable for me in that sense. But in terms of presentation quality, I think the animations were very good and the uh, the photography was good. It was very crisp and very well laid out. So you know, congratulations to you on that and congratulations to the surgeon because it looked like a really clean field on surgery. I would like to mention my guide as well, Dr. Shashidhar sir. It was his surgery. And he has made the efforts. I mean, you can see the experience in the photographs. So it's there. Thank you, sir. Dr. Saptigri, sir. No, I have nothing to add. It's a wonderful okay. presentation. Congrats, Simran. Thank you, sir. Simran, good one. Good. Thank you, sir.